Hmm. Maneater bug's really good, but I don't know about Trap Master. Everybody sends their spells too, and I never hit a trap with them. Try Wicked Worm Beast, dude. It's actually a really good card. It baits out Trap Hole and Wabaku because it's something that you can keep poking with. It's a second monster that you can commit to the board without fear of giving your opponent a plus if they have Raigeki or Dark Hole. And because it returns to the hand like that, it dodges Soul Exchange and gives you the perfect monster to figure out where your opponent's face down monsters are because if they have a Wall of Illusion, you don't care because this returns to the hand anyways. Oh, nice! Sweet! Thank you! I, I didn't even think of that! Everyone plays hand traps, so I gotta play Call by the Grape and Talents, but they know I'm gonna play those, so they might not play Ash or anything, making my anti-hand trap cards useless. Unless I go first and set the Call by the Grape to counter their graveyard plays. Hmm. Unless they're playing True Draco. But if they're playing True Draco, they're gonna wanna go first, so that means I'm gonna need to play more going second cards. But wait a minute. True Draco is it is still a thing, so I need outs to floodgates, but True Draco isn't the only anti-meta deck out there. Plus there's like 400 more decks out there that are viable because there hasn't been a good format in years, and... Oh man, Lodge is so good with 1800 attack. They're never gonna make a monster with more than 1800 attack. The game would get way too crazy. Especially because these other monsters only have like 1700. Yeah, that breaks the game. 1800's gotta be max. Wow, Alexandrite Dragon, Phantom Griffin, Mystery Shell Dragon, they all have 2,000 attack! You would never play those. Ever. They don't do anything. If it doesn't have at least 400 lines of text in its effect, then the card sucks. Well, I just play my friends for fun, so... You would only use those cards as Rescue Rabbit targets, but even then, you wouldn't play Rescue Rabbit, except maybe in Middle Foes, because Rescue Rabbit is not nearly as good as it used to be. It's actually obsolete, just like playing big boss monsters. Are you done? And even if you were to play the rescue spell card, let's just say a rescue deck or whatever, you still wouldn't want to play that either because it's a spell card that consistently pays life points. Are you happy now? I'm a card sandwich. I will flip summon Maneater Bug, target summon Skull. I feel like there should be more. Uh, why? Summon Skull goes to Graveyard. <laughs> I can't explain it, but I just, I have this feeling. I don't wanna play anymore. Spec, activate, no Ash, no Nibiru, no Gamma. That's what I thought. Where's Deskbot, where's Deskbot, where's Deskbot, where's Deskbot? There he is. Let's see. Normal summon La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp! <laughs> and uh, set to uh, inner battle, declare with La Jin. Activate Wabaku, I don't take damage. Okay, pass. That's literally it. Oh, I, I guess it's my turn. Hey, wait a minute. I'm trying to get that feeling too now, man! Scales. Um, Typhoon. Normal summon. Activate. Imperm. <laughs> that zone's locked out now. <laughs> okay, then uh, activate Alliance to search. And Ash. Ha <laughs> ha, called by the grave. Side frame gear Delta. Yes. <laughs> what? Who even plays that? Who? Who? This guy. <laughs> Mirror Force destroys every monster. Heavy Storm destroys all spells and traps. <laughs> Solemn Judgment negates everything. <laughs> Am I the only one who gives a shit about the rules? I guess? I don't know, just don't hurt me. Stardust Synchron, just some more shit, who cares? Well-defined format instead of one card combos and overpowered standalone cards? Ain't seen that in years. YEARS! Hey, 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 did you see the new episode of Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, 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 where Kaiba was on the ledge of Pegasus Castle and Yugi had to surrender? Oh man, that was crazy. Kaiba's such a douchebag, huh? He reminds me of Vegeta. Yeah, but Vegeta's my favorite anyways. Prince of all Saiyans! <laughs> Yo, did you see the new Yugi no no video? <laughs> Ew, you watch him, you fucking scrub. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. 
All right, that might be a mirror force back there, so I don't want to have both of my monsters in attack position. I can't set too much back row for fear of Heavy Storm. He's got a face down monster and a pot of greed engraved, but I didn't draw knock. Hmm. Blade Knight and Mystic Swordsman aren't out yet. Wait. Wait. Hold on. How, how do I know that? Ah, no Nibiru. Summon everything. Good. Summon my entire extra deck. Good. Draw 12 cards. Search 12 more. I'm gonna ask that one. And... Attack! Yep, game two. You don't waste our lives pretending that Yu-Gi-Oh is mega important to the point where we try to form a little economy out of it instead of learning anything that's actually in our best interest? No, that sounds really nerdy. And also sounds like a shittier version of the reality from the TV show. So that's gonna be a no from me, dog. That's gonna be a no from me. Understandable. Have a nice day. You too. Subscribe. Mm. <laughs>